Hello everyone and welcome to this video lecture. In this episode, we are going to see how to work with stack in order to convert a prefix to postfix. So here we have the prefix expression. It is multiplication minus a slash bc minus slash akl and we are also going to define an empty stack. This is how we define an empty stack. Basically, we are going to use the list representation and we have already defined a function is operator. It is going to return us the true or false if the past character is an operator and it is very simple function. You can understand it. I have already defined it in order to save the time required for typing. Now I'm going to say s equals to s. So this is how we can reverse a string. And for stack trace, I'm also going to print it like this. Okay, so we are going to print the trace of whatever we are doing. Now for i in s, if i if actually we will say if is operator of i if this thing is true then i'm going to say a equals to stack dot pop and b equals to stack dot pop and finally we are going to say temp equals to a plus b plus c. So it is going to append all these strings and we are also going to, or we can write it in a single statement and it will be very easy for all of us. So I will just say stack dot append and I'm going to say else stack dot append. Okay. And that's it. So this is the algorithm that is going to convert the prefix into postfix. So let us see how it works. Basically, we are reversing that string. Okay. And this is the reverse string. Then we are checking if it is an operator. And if it is an operator, we are going to pop the items from the stack. And then we are going to append them into uh, another string. And then we are pushing that appended stuff into the stack again. Otherwise, we are directly pushing it to the, to the stack if it is not an operator. So that's it. So this is the logic and we will just go ahead and execute this. And finally, the stack is going to have the output print stack. So let's execute it. And here we have the postfix conversion of the given infix string. So the logic is very simple. Basically, we are going to scan it from backwards. And if it is an operator, then we are going to pop the items and then we are going to compute the new string by appending or by concatenating a, b and i. And then we are going to push it again the stack. Otherwise, we are, it is, if it is not an operator, if it is an operand, we are directly going to push it into the stack. So simple five, 10 lines of code and it is going to perform this prefix to postfix conversion. But before running this algorithm, just make sure that you are reversing the string and Finally, you are going to actually have the pop to item from the stack or I will just say stack dot pop and we are going to have that same expression. And let me know. Let me know if you have any questions or queries in the comment section. Thanks a lot once again and I will see you next time.